clever. I do want to grab this and do that because as you probably know if you've watched my other videos, I don't use coal to make torches. I use logs. I turn them into charcoal to make torches. And this is going to get me eight more torches because I have two sticks. So two sticks, two coal, eight more torches. And wood is a dime a dozen. I can always go get more wood because I can chop down a tree and then plant more trees and then chop down trees. Assuming you rotate your soil in the real world, you can kind of do this too. You just, you know, plant stuff, chop it down, plant more stuff. Mm, okay. So anyway, iron, iron. All right. Um, so night time again. The day goes by so fast when you're not paying attention, especially in these times where there's nothing to do. I don't know why I keep going down here. I guess let's let's try to traverse all of this. So I'll chop down my wall. Throw one of these back here real quick. Make sure I got this place all lit up. Don't want any unwelcome visitors. Is that it? That's it. And I didn't see anything useful in the walls, which could mean there is nothing useful in the walls, or it could mean nothing. I don't know. Oh, darn it. I knew that was... What did I do that for? All right, get back up here. Come on. Come on. Over here. Over here. Nope. 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 All right. Where'd those go? There they are. Uh, I guess I'm just going to go stop this up at the source. Quit swimming. Come on. There you go. Swim. Jump. Move. We're not going to stop it up at the source. We're going to stop it. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Eh, there goes my torch. Okay. All right. There we go. All taken care of. Oh, there's another one right here. All right. Anybody else? Pete's safe. Okay. Now let's go down here. All right. So... Um, basically what I was trying to say is, I was a teacher for a long time. It was fun. I did tutoring also, just kind of on the side. But anyway, yeah, being a teacher, like, like, like being a teacher, you know, you got lesson plans and, and, um, um, states, um, gosh, I swear I was a teacher. I just can't think of these words right now. Um, there's definitely a cave with other things around here somewhere. Um, but anyway, standards you gotta follow, and new rules about all sorts of stuff, and I mean, that's not to mention just, like, all the things that you have to think about, like, you know, you, you think, you know, this is how I'm gonna, you know, treat my own children, right? So you, you think you, you can get away with some of that as a teacher, but you can't. Oh, shoot. Maybe he's stuck there. Well, he didn't blow anything up, but that's because he's in the water, so that's fine. It's actually good. I didn't want him to blow anything up. Actually, I did want him to blow some stuff up, but that's okay. Trick time. There, 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 there. How far out does this come? Right there, just to make sure. All right. Ready? Sweet. Tell me that wasn't awesome. Go ahead. I'll wait. Uh, leave, a, leave a like and subscribe and, um... Um, put in the comments whether or not you thought that was totally wicked, dude. I mean, if you want to, you can do any of that stuff, but it's not like I'm gonna force you to or beg you to or say, please, please help me get the exposure and tell other people about my super awesome channel so that way I can possibly monetize my videos and make a little side money, especially with all this COVID-19 going stuff going on so that way, you know, people can live like normal lives and actually be able to buy food and all that other kind of stuff and pay my bills because I have bills to pay. But it's, you know, whatever. It's cool. I'm just doing this to have fun, which is actually partially true. Well, that's actually mostly true. Let's face it, I'm not making any money off of this. It's like being a teacher again. Ba-dum kidding although i'm sure we can all agree especially during all this nonsense that's going on right now that teachers don't make a lot of money teachers don't make enough money that was another hard thing about being a teacher all the i'm, I'm gonna cut myself off here because i can be an increasingly negative person um when i get rolling so i'm gonna put on the brakes Ooh, I leveled up. I mean, my Minecraft leveled up, but whatever. So I'm going to put on the brakes here, and I'm going to talk about the positive. Positive things about being a teacher were just immensely awesome. Like, you think that, like, think of, like, the nicest thing that you've done for another person. Like, you, you helped them carry in their groceries or... Or you paid for the person behind you in the in the line at McDonald's. I mean, you know, the, those things are, are are 
nice. It's nice of you to do those things. You're a very nice person. You should, you're, you don't let anybody tell you any differently. You are a, a good, gentle soul, and, and I appreciate you, um, sincerely. But the nicest thing that you've done for someone and, like, the way that that's made you feel, um, like, that's, that's good. It is. But go, go teach a child something new. Go show them something that they've never seen before. It is, it is a completely different experience from helping your neighbor, um, you know, walk their dog or, you know, take out their garbage. You know, it's, it's a completely different experience than like any other experience that you would have like helping someone. Because you're not you're not just like helping somebody like you're you're teaching a little human being something that is not like inherent something that they're not going to learn from just being around other human beings like parents should get a lot of credit for teaching their children how to speak and walk and all that like like parents should get a lot of credit for that stuff and I'm not trying to take credit away from anyone or say that you know teachers are the backbone of society blah 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 because as we're finding out right now, even or especially truck drivers and, you know, security workers and, um, you know, shopping mart shows, I can never remember the name of like a Walmart supermarket shopping center. I don't know. Anyway, but the people who, who are working those, all these people who are being called essential workers right now, those those people are important. But teachers are important and parents are important. And whether we like it or not, you know, these politicians, politicians aren't important, but the people who, who actually like you know, run the government who, you know, help keep us safe, you know, they, they gotta, they gotta, you know, make orders sometimes and, you know, sort of tell people what to do because, you know, people are stupid. Um, but they're, they're, they're important too. We're, we're all important. But to get back on track with what I was trying to say, children are going to learn how to speak and walk and how to act and how to treat other people by watching, you know, primarily their family members, by watching their, their parents and older siblings and cousins, and, you know, by watching what happens to younger siblings and, and cousins, right? What time is it? Oh, good, it's morning. Um, and so, excuse me, excuse me, that is my food that you're swimming around not even gonna give me anything for that contaminating my water supply you're not even gonna not even gonna give me nothing for it so when you go and you teach a child something new that that they're not just gonna pick up on by being out in the world like it's just it's just amazing like you you, you, t you and it doesn't matter like really what you're teaching it's it's really anything like if it, it's a a science or history or you know computers or even like introducing them to new books and I tell you what some of the some of the like the best things about being a teacher was introducing kids to like new things like I said new books new websites computer programs um, literally the most simple thing that I've ever done that has like just made kids go wow or whoa that's so cool is just literally pulling the side off of a computer case like it sounds a little it, it does sound a little ridiculous right it's like just you know open a computer it's got pieces in it right yeah it does but not a lot of people know what they do and hey you want to meet my sword hey What I'm trying to do, I'm, I'm very bad at, at talking while I'm trying to do this stuff, but seriously, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get to this guy. I can't, because there's water everywhere. And once I go into the water, I can no longer creep. I can only, where's the next one at? Dude, back it off. Look at all those arrows I don't get to pick up. Sorry, I can't concentrate and talk at the same time. If that hasn't been apparent yet, I think this is all water. These are all source blocks. There we go. This is a big old cave, man. Ooh. All right, I think I've got some string. I'm gonna go try to make myself bow and arrow. Oh my goodness, what the heck, man? Oh my gosh. Move it, bees. What are you guys doing here? I'm just under attack from all sides. Come in here, I dare you. My 
Good. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm not prepared for this. You know where all my diamonds are, don't you? Back at my other house. All right. Well, while I'm waiting this out, I guess I'll just finish my thought. My worst job ever was in retail um, because unlike teaching and even the pools, you know, swim lessons, teaching lifeguarding and all that kind of stuff, basically just teaching in general wherever I've been, um, working with kids, you know, showing them new things and teaching them new concepts, helping them understand the world around them and how to navigate it. And I mean, I think some of the more interesting interactions I've had with kids where they're saying like, oh man, my parents are so stupid, blah, 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 blah. And then to see the look on their face when I'm like, hey, listen to your parents, do what they tell you to do. Like, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but you got to do it because you got to do it. And they're just like, they have that look on their face, like they kind of want to say, oh, I thought you were cool. But they also are like, oh, okay. And you kind of start to realize that and when you interact with these kids on a daily basis, you're doing all this, you know, different things. And, you know, you got to tell them to stop running on the pool deck or, you know, you help them with their math homework that like they like they gen genuinely are like looking up to you. And like they just they're looking they're looking up to you. They're also looking to you, like, to know how to act, how to behave, what's right and wrong, you know? How do we handle this situation? And and sometimes they get frustrated because they know they're not doing what you want them to do, but I had an eighth grader jump on my back once and try to climb onto my shoulders, and I just kind of stood there waiting for him to kind of calm down so he would, he wasn't malicious, he was just being goofy, and one of my other students just looks at me and goes you have a lot of patience. And I obviously took that as a compliment, but, you know, it, patience is hard. It, it's super hard, but at the end of the day, like, these kids, who knows of what they get at home and don't get at home. I mean, you know, it, it can be sad sometimes. Um, but my worst jobs have been jobs that have been retail that have not meant anything. I, you know, you just go in, you you put your things on the shelf, you make your desserts, you you hand your stuff out to your customers, you take their money, and maybe you have some nice, pleasant interactions with people, and maybe people enjoy coming to your place and seeing you and all that. But that's nothing compared to to changing a child's life by just being there, by by showing them that you know someone cares, by by helping them learn things they want to learn, and you know just. It's, there's nothing like it. So my my the worst jobs I've ever had have been jobs where there was really no meaning to them. Because it kind of feels like like you have no meaning anymore. Grrr.